Okay, so let's say you're a brand new podcaster and you're using Zoom, the free version of Zoom, to record your interview and you want to now edit that interview in Audacity because Audacity is free to use. Well, you might run into some challenges. I'm going to show you how to make it work. So you have your Zoom recording, you download and install Audacity and you go to the file menu to import your Zoom audio from whichever file location it's at and it doesn't work. The reason is because of the file type. Zoom records audio in M4A format, and it's not compatible with Audacity. Audacity needs a more common format like MP3 or WAV, for example. But the fix is quite easy. Let me show you. You need a little add-on called the FFmpeg library, and you can find that by going up to the Edit menu Clicking on that and going down to Preferences. And once this box opens up, you're going to find the Libraries option and click on that. You're probably going to have to download it. So you're going to click on Download and you're going to see this page pop up. So this is a little bit of a convoluted way of actually getting the library. You have to now go to Installing FFmpeg. And now you have to go to the recommended installer, which is this link here. And on this page, just be careful because it pops up with ads and you don't want to start a download of something else that isn't what you're looking for. You have to scroll down a little bit. And right here is the list of FFmpeg options. You want to download the appropriate option for your operating system and then you'll be set to go. Once you've done that, you're all set. You can just click on OK, and now we can go and import our M4A files from Zoom. To do that, you're going to go up to File, and you're going to click on Import and Audio. And this is an old Zoom recording of mine that popped up, and we're just going to look for the M4A file. The video file is MP4, we're going to look for M4A, and this is it here. So I'll click on that, I'll click on Open, and we can see that it's now uploading that file into Audacity, and we'll be able to work with it. Okay, so this is actually an old podcast interview recording of mine. I can see the wavelengths here, and you can actually zoom in and out to get a better idea of where breaks in the conversation might happen and how you might need to do your editing. This is called a timeline, by the way, and it's how most linear editing software shows up on your screen. So we're ed essentially editing from left to right, so that's why it's referred to as linear editing. And so this is the start of the recording on the left-hand side, and usually what happens with me is I have a little bit of chit-chat for a while before we actually start recording the program. So I know that some of this audio on the front end is not the audio that will be part of my show. So let's say this is the start of my show here, and so I need to cut off the audio right where the conversation breaks in this space. I'm just going to move this track over a little bit by dragging it so I can get at the front end of the track here with these arrows. So I'm dragging it from the left-hand side, and I'm going to move it right up to this break. And now I'm just going to drag this back over to the front of the timeline. And this, in theory, would be the start of my show. And you can do the same thing if you need to edit on the back end of the show, if you've done some chit chat there. Just go up here and highlight a little bit of the back end of the track so you can zoom in on it. Come up here to the zoom button, click on that a little bit. And now we can see maybe, we'll say in theory that the end of the show was right here. So we'll bring the track, we'll get the track and drag it. and stop at that break in the conversation there. And now I can just move the project back into the full track by clicking this button that says Fit Project to Width, and that should be my entire show. Now let's have a look at how to add some intro and outro music to your podcast here. Okay, so I have my podcast trimmed up in Audacity, and now I want to add some intro and outro music. You can't just use music from anywhere. There are a number of sources, some of them paid, some of them free, but you have to be careful about copyright. So I'm actually here in YouTube, and I'm going to go, one of my YouTube channels here, I'm going to go to YouTube Studio, 
And down here on the left hand menu there is an audio library. I'm going to click on that and you'll see a number of selections open up. I'm just going to filter this a bit because I don't need anything terribly long for podcast intros and outros. So I'll click on the filter here. I'm going to click to filter by duration and I'm going to say shorter than two minutes. And apply. Just going to click that so I get the longest tracks first. And we'll have a look here. I think I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to add a mood filter and I'm going to say happy inspirational. Let's try that and see what comes up. Okay. Uh, lovable clown sitcom. Maybe I've got a comedy podcast. Let's see. Okay, that's a pretty good intro for a comedy podcast. So let's say I like this one. I just want to make sure the license type is one that I can use. So what I'm going to do is add another filter and I want to filter by attribution not required. And sure enough, that song still comes up in this menu. And so I know that because attribution is not required, uh, I can use that without having to worry about doing anything. There are some that you do have to uh, add attribution for if you're using it in a video or a podcast or other things. And it's easy to do. You just make sure that you give credit to that artist in the uh, show notes or in the video. But it's just easier to not have to worry about attribution. So I'm going to download this one. Okay, so we're back in Audacity. Here's my podcast and I want to now add the intro music that we just downloaded from YouTube. So I'm going to go up here to File and I'm going to click on Import Audio. And I know this one is in my Downloads, so I'll just go to that folder and open that. And sure enough, Lovable Clown Sitcom for our comedy podcast. So we'll click on that and open it. And there it is. Now the reason it shows up twice is just because it's in stereo. So you've got two speakers, one plays out of the left, one plays out of the right. And so you can choose if you want to adjust volume levels on either side, for example. But we're just going to keep it all the same for this purpose. Where it's positioned here is lined up with the introduction of my show, but it's too long. So I'm going to trim it a little bit. And then we're going to add a basic effect so that the music fades out as we start our show. Now I want this back end of the music to fade out as the talking begins in the podcast. So I'm just going to highlight this. Okay, so I'm going to come up here now to effect on the top menu. And I want a fade out. So I'm going to go to fading and fade out. And just like that, it has created this nice fade in the music as the talking begins in the program. So I'm just going to drag my podcast over a little bit so it lines up more with the fade. And I'm just going to click off this highlight. And we can play it through here and see how it sounds. dispel some myths today. So that's a nice little fade. So you're involved in a bit. Now I actually want to sort of duplicate this at the end of the show for the outro. So what we're going to do is bring that audio file in again. And for this one we want to move it to the end of the track. Now I'm going to trim it again here. And I'm going to add both the fade in and fade out effect. Now, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to zoom in on that a bit. We're going to go fade in. And on the back end, fade out. Fade out. I'm just going to move this now so it lines up with the end of the show. The fade in is lining up with the conversation ending and we can just highlight this now.
and play it through and see how it sounds. Casey Stubbs on Dirt Road Journeys. So there's my last word and the music is coming in. Okay, so that's pretty good. I might trim up that music a little bit more so it's about 10 to 15 seconds in total on each end. But for the purpose of this demonstration, you get the idea. And you get the idea too that Audacity isn't the most intuitive software to use. It has a ton of great functionality, but it does take some effort to learn how it all works and to set it up properly for your specific needs. Now, how do we get our podcast out of Audacity? We're gonna click on File, we're gonna click on Export, and we're gonna export it as an MP3. And we're gonna click Save. Now it tells us your tracks will be mixed and exported as one stereo file. That's fine, that's perfectly normal. You can add some values in these tags if you want to, but it's totally not necessary. And there we have it, exporting the audio. So that's it, we managed to update Audacity so it would accept and work with the M4A audio file from your Zoom recording. And we managed to find some music to add to your podcast that was free and had no attribution required from the YouTube audio library in YouTube Studio. And we managed to now create a complete MP3 file that you can upload to your podcast hosting service. Hope that was helpful. If so, I always really appreciate the likes and the subscriptions. Thank you so much if you've done that. And hey, if you're not into Audacity, I get it. I don't use it myself. I've got another video I'm working on with a different piece of editing software that's much easier to use in my opinion. And as soon as that's ready, you're going to see that on the screen here somewhere, either on my left or right. Feel free to click on that and have a look. All the best.